Hey guys, welcome back. How are you doing today? Got my little cup of coffee right now. It's still early. I like to film early in the morning. And today's video is going to be another ranking video. And I'm excited because I've been playing this one for a while. And I finally have enough sponges to do like at least 10. Well, I have 10 now. I haven't tried a lot. Of, I have tried a lot of sponges. I just haven't tried all the sponges in the market um there's still a couple of brands that i want to try from <clears throat> um but these are the ones i've tried so far and some, definitely some of them are repurchases and i'll explain as i go through but you know before we start make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you hit that like button to let me know that you are liking this content and don't forget to go follow me on instagram i'll leave my handle double so let's get started well, this is kind of hard, but I have my little list of sponges, and I'm excited to let you know which one, what, how I rank them and why I rank them that way. Um, I was planning to do close-ups, but I'm kind of embarrassed how dirty they are, and like, all of them have, like, the ones that are just ready to be thrown away, um, have dog hair, so it's kind of gross. So I'll just try to describe the texture of each one as best I can, um. At number 10 is going to be this Junko um, microfiber sponge. And it's basically the velvet sponges that, you know, was were cop popular like maybe two years ago, I think. Um, basically, that's what this is. And I've tried, I had this one, the blue one, the original blue one. I tried the yellow one. They're all pretty much the same. They were supposed to be different. Um, not just different colors, but honestly, they just, they don't work for me. I especially, at least this Junko one, um, Junko or Juno? No, I don't remember. I'll make sure I write down the right one down in the description box. But anyways, this particular sponge is just when you wet them. Honestly, they're so they're still hard. They don't really increase in size, and then when you're pouncing it on your actual face, they feel like that's literally what it sounds like and it feels like that like it just it's a very hard sponge it doesn't get softer and it doesn't have a lot of like elasticity to it to where you feel like okay this is nice and soft spongy this is more like those um scrub happy sponges that you use for your dishes that's what that feels like like as far as texture number nine i actually don't have one with me um, this is one of the ones that I had when I, um, I had used when I had COVID, so I had to throw it away, so I'll just insert a picture. One of these. Um, and it's going to be the Real Technique sponge. The one I've tried is the orange one, but I just tried the different colors. Um, honestly, it's, it was a good sponge, when, especially when it came out, because it was just like that one, the Beauty Blender. It hadn't, not every brand had a sponge yet. It was really good back then, but for my personal taste, it's too... It's too porous to the point where it just, it doesn't feel, it doesn't look pretty when I'm putting, it, putting my foundation on, using it to apply my foundation. I don't like how it looks. I don't really enjoy how it feels either. And another thing that I've noticed, it tears up so quickly within the first wash. I'm already seeing tears in the sponge. I understand, you know, it's a sponge. I'm not buying the most expensive sponge, but I have less expensive sponges that never tear i have never seen one tear so i'm kind of like um what's going on um so it's definitely not my first sponge to buy i i repurchased it maybe three times and i just wanted to see if maybe it was just me maybe i just need to try it again it's a good sponge it's an okay sponge but it's not something that i'm going to repurchase again number eight is going to be the equal to one equal tools one and this is the only one that i tried the one that's kind of flat here and then flat on this side I do like the shape of it I haven't tried the other ones shapes that they have but I really love this sponge um, but again I think this is just me tearing it this one also tears very quickly when as soon as I wash it um this used to be my favorite sponge until I started purchasing and trying other sponges and then I feel like when this one you wet it it does get bigger but it's still that same hard sponge when you are applying the foundation to your face. And I don't like that. I don't need to be smacking my face with the sponge. That's not how I should feel. <laughs> I shouldn't be hearing that noise um, when I'm putting it on my foundation. Because I 
my personal taste, I like soft sponges, but I don't like them so soft that I'm not doing anything. Um, so definitely not a repurchase again. The next, the last, the rest of these I absolutely love. I just try to see which ones I like better as far as shape, as far as how many times have I repurchased this. Would I continue to repurchase this? Um, because the rest of these I absolutely love. And it was just those three that I just, they're okay. I like them. I won't repurchase them again. But the rest of these... You need to try them if you haven't tried them. Um, at number seven is going to be the Flower Beauty sponge. And again, I love this sponge, but I just had to compare it to the other ones, especially as far as shape now, what shape I like better. And the shape of this one, it has, it's flat on one side, but even when you wet this, this point right here, which is why I rate it at number seven, it's too thick, it's too big, especially for the under eye. Um, I don't think anyone has a huge under eyes area and it just feels like I can't get into the corners like very well to where I feel I'm blending out my foundation or concealer whatever the case is well enough because it's just not pointy. I love this part for you know all the rest of my face but I really don't like this. This is why it's at number seven but the softness of this sponge it's so nice like you can hear that difference it's a little quieter. And especially when it's wet, you don't even hear that. It's such a soft, soft sponge. I love, love this sponge and I love the color too. Little I like lavender. Number six, I'm going putting the Ofer sponge on there. Again, I love it, but I have others that I love absolutely more. I, there's, I don't, honestly, there's really nothing wrong with this sponge or as far as critique. It's a very soft sponge. This I use to blend out my foundation and then I go in with this point. I wish it was a little smaller, just, just a little bit, um, for my conceal under my eye and my concealer here. But other than that, I really, really enjoy the sponge. The only thing is that they're, it's a little bit more on the expensive side. So my sponges that I absolutely love are definitely more affordable. But honestly, if this, uh, there's a huge shelf for Ofra, I will definitely repurchase this because I absolutely love it. It's very, very soft. Like, I love my sponges. So, yes. <laughs> Wait, that one's not dirty. The rest of those are. All right, at number five, I'm going to be putting the e.l.f. Camel Concealer um, sponge. And again, this is a very soft. And I do like this sponge. I like that it's pointy because this is actually meant for a concealer. It's the e.l.f. Camel um, sponge or e.l.f. Camel Concealer sponge. Um, it has pointy ends meant specifically for the under eye area and I really love this sponge. I know that you can use it dry and I finally got to try it and I'm very 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 happy that I actually got to try it. Um, I've tried another one from e.l.f. I just thought about that. Um, I love that one. It's like a green one. I'll insert a picture here if I can find it. That one's really really nice too. I really like it. I would probably Put those about the same just because of the consistency the material of the sponge is about the same um but that one if i remember correctly has more of a like the elf almost like the flower beauty one and i did love that one but i definitely like this one more i just remember but that one was also one that i used during covid so i had to throw that one away i just remembered that <laughs> but i would definitely rank those about the same but i love this one and i really love that it's pointed but I don't think it's necessary to buy just one sponge for concealer, but it's definitely good. Just letting you know. At number four is going to be, I only have the little one. I'll insert a picture of the full set because it's a, it's basically this size, but bigger. And I got this in a BoxyCharm last year. And when I first tried it, I mean, this is absolutely like so good. I honestly was blown away when I tried this. And you'd think I ranked this at number one, but definitely not. A re I haven't repurchased it yet um, because shipping is kind of expensive. But honestly, I, I really want to repurchase these because these are so, such good sponges. Like, they're so soft. And for the under eye, that little point right there, you see that? So perfect for the under eye. So I really, this is like the most pointed sponge that I have. And I really want to repurchase this. It's such a good sponge from Hank and Henry. Number three is going to be the Dose of Color sponge. And I have it in the little plastic wrap because I haven't opened it yet. I don't need it quite yet, which is why I didn't want to take it out. But it's the, the first one that came out, which is the regular size. I also purchased the big one 
during their sale. Honestly, I take advantage and purchase these during the sale because they are more on the expensive side. I believe they're like 19, no, $15, I think. So I love this sponge. It's such a good sponge. Again, that nice pointed edge right here for your under eye. And then this bottom part, definitely for blending out your foundation, the rest of your face or, you know, cream products for all of them. But definitely, I love this little Hershey's Kisses shape. It's definitely such a good sponge and it's so, so soft. I love the sponge, which is why, again, I repurchased this one. This is why it's higher up. All right, at number two is going to be the ColourPop sponge. This is the original Precision blending sponge. And I, I've tried both the small and the... They have a smaller size and then they have the regular size. I believe this is the regular size, if I remember correctly. I actually have both of them in my collection and they're having a sale, I think, starting at 11 and I might repurchase one of these because these are so, so good. Again, they have not super pointed edge, but it's still small enough to where I really can get um, very well under my under eye or in my under eye area. And then usually this part is for blending out my, um, blending out my foundation. I completely blinked on that word. And I mean, mine's is super dirty. This is old. I was just wanted to have it for reference, but I definitely repurchased this maybe three or four times at this point and i absolutely love the softness of this and it's on sale not on sale but it's definitely more on the affordable side and if when it's on sale you can you know stock up on them because the sponges are not something that goes bad so really good um i haven't tried their set just want to mention that i do have the entire set but i didn't want to purchase that because what if like one of them like i hadn't come back in stock so i need to do that maybe for a video but definitely love that one all right number one this is my most repurchased sponge and I absolutely love this sponge when I first tried it I think no one was talking about it and now everyone's talking about it but I don't understand how no one talked about this sponge or even like discovered it or anything and I've been using this sponge for a couple years now actually and since I discovered this one I definitely stayed away from real technique real technique sponge and then the eco tools this is what like oh this is what a good sponge feels like um of course i didn't try the beauty blender i just feel like a whole 20 dollars is too much for one sponge and my expensive sponge sponges that i've gotten the ofra the dose of colors i've gotten those on sale so just letting you know on that but my number one is going to be the elf sponge this is the total blending total face blending total blending total face blending sponge it's the pink one so many people are talking about this one now I love 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 a lot of people say it has changed I don't feel like it has changed this one is I have another one in my collection I believe right now but this is my most recent purchased one and I don't feel like it's changed I don't feel like it's any different from the ones from the first one that I purchased I absolutely love this one I love that it this right here for me is like perfect for my under eye I love this part for I, I think to me it's just perfect it's basically like the ColourPop one honestly as you can see this is like my like a really good shape for me I love the shape it's just a lot bigger it's even bigger than the regular position one and this one's a little less soft than the ColourPop one the ColourPop one when you wet it it is soft um but this one's just enough a little bit harder to where it doesn't feel like you're sinking like it doesn't sink into your skin you could per se um but it's just it's my favorite sponge i absolutely love it it's six dollars i always make sure to buy like one or two i just need to have this always in my collection and ironically i have not been using sponges this whole last month i bought i bought i picked out foundations that i don't really need a sponge for for this um for january shop my stash like i picked out the the number seven i just blend that with my fingers the stick foundation, I don't like to use sponges with stick foundations. I feel like they blend out better with brushes. And then the powder foundation, I use a brush with that. So I think it's kind of ironic that I haven't been using sponges this whole month so far. We'll see next month. But those are my ranking of the, um, the sponges that I've tried. I wanted to give you some, you know, background knowledge on sponges, especially more affordable ones that the ones I've tried so far um, that are cruelty free. And just kind of give you some knowledge about 10 different sponges and comparing them 
and letting you know what I think is the best one and why. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more ranking videos and what type of ranking videos you want to see. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>